The second way to deploy a clone on a new website or restore a backup to a new website is through not a URL but through a file. So this is how that works. You go back to your dashboard, you go to plugins, installed plugins, and you go to add new and then you upload and then you choose file and backup creator dot zip and then install now activate the plugin go to settings under that plugin and then what you want to do is restore from file upload. Before you do that, well there's two ways you can do this actually. You can go grab the file on your desktop as you saved it when you made the backup or you can actually upload it to your FTP um, up to your web host. So we're gonna choose the file and it's this one right here and we're going to click open and then we're going to restore from backup are you sure okay and it takes a few seconds but not too long in case you can't see it's uploading right now it's at about 25% I'm going to pause right here and when it's done I'll come back. Okay, we're almost done. And restoration complete. So let's go to our dashboard, just make sure everything's cool. Everything, everything looks good. I do want to note that I skipped a step when I installed the Backup Creator plugin and activated it. I didn't have to go and insert the license key and email address that I purchased from simply because in the previous video I had already installed the plugin so even though I removed the plugin it didn't remove the plugin uh, license key and email address from the database tables so it didn't ask for it again normally on first installation of backup creator you will have to always paste in your um, license key and your email address that you purchased with. Okay, so that's how you install from a file. Like I said, you can also install from a file that you actually up upload through your FTP and you do that by launching your FTP client and going to your new website and you actually have to add a folder to this folder structure right here so you have to actually have to create a folder in uploads right here and by right clicking on that and create directory and then type in your folder name which is backup creator click OK go to backup creator and drag your folder that has your backup in it and it will take some time to upload you can see here that it's you know a big file so I'm gonna pause here I'll come back when it's almost done so the files almost uploaded now it's done so if we go back to our WordPress website and reload the page you'll see that we can restore from file and it's right here this is the file that we just uploaded to our web host via FTP right here so if we want to do that we just click this radio button that says restore from file and then we click on restore from backup and you're done It's simple